So let's use these half-life and double time formulas along with the other formulas in a couple of these next examples. First, if there were 1,200 bacteria at the start of an experiment, and then four hours later there were 2,200, since that is increasing, it went from 1,000 to 2,000, that is a growth model. So to determine the growth constant, we're going to set it up into the formula. The final amount, 2,200, equals the initial amount times e to the kt. We don't know k, but we do know that t is four hours later. So it's 1,200 e to the 4k. So to solve this, you divide by 1,200. The zeros cancel. 22 over 12, you can reduce that to 11 over 6. Equals e to the 4k. Solving for k, we'll natural log both sides. To get the exponent down, you log it. And that will equal the exponent. So to get k by itself and finish it off, we just have to divide, and then it's calculator work. Natural log 11 over 6 divided by 4. Natural log 11 over 6 divided by 4. So we get 0.1515. K is about 0.1515. Now, right here in the writing, it says once you have K, we're going to store it in the calculator. So on a Casio, to store an answer, TIs are pretty much the same way if you have a TI. Uh, Casio, it's right here, this little arrow button. TIs, it's on the bottom, I think it's on the left side, and it says STO with an arrow. So you push that button to store. Once you have an answer, 0.1515, whatever, push the arrow for store, and then pick a letter for it. Since it represents K, we're going to use K. So alpha K. So you should get answer store K, just like it displays right now. Push enter. And now whenever you use the letter K on your calculator, it'll do this decimal. You don't have to round. It's going to do it as precise as it can. So now that we have that decimal, which was close to 0.1515, stored for K in our calculator to figure out how many bacteria will be left after three hours we'll just use our equation N equals N naught E to the K T and T is three hours so plug in three now I'm just going to write K here because I don't want to write that big long decimal I was going to write K because we already know what K is. It's stored in our calculator. So we're going to do 12, 1,200 times E to the 3K. So let's start with E. There's E right above natural log. To the 3K, 3K. Times the number that was in front, the 1,200. So there's 1,890.655. Now, with all word problems, they should make sense. 
we know that we started with 1,200 and we, four hours later, there's 2,200. So three hours later, there should be somewhere between those numbers, probably closer to the 2,200 because we're closer to four hours than we are at the beginning. That makes sense. We got almost 1,900. So the answer makes sense in context. That's how many bacteria are left. It doesn't really make sense to say that there's 0.655. There's not a whole nother bacteria. So let's just chop it off because there's not a whole one. There's not 100. There's not 1,891 yet. So let's just chop it off. Let's say that there's that many 1,890 bacteria. So to figure out when the population reaches 3,000, we want to set it equal. So the exponent is kt. Where k is the value that we have stored for k in our calculator. So we are trying to solve for t. So we're going to divide by 1,200. Cancel out the zeros. 30 divided by 12. Reduce that to 5 over 2. So now since E, we're trying to get the variable down from E, so we're going to log it. Change it to a natural log of 5 over 2. E equals KT. And then divide by k to get t by itself so we know how long. So in our calculator, we'll do natural log of 5 over 2 divided by k. Natural log 5 over 2 divided by alpha k. 6047 And the time was in hours, so a little bit over six hours. So in 1988, the concentration of carbon dioxide was 350 parts per million and increasing at 0.4% per year. Assuming it continues, when will it reach 600 parts per million? So when will 600 equal the initial amount, e to the kt? We know that k is increasing, so it's going to be positive. And 0.4%, move the decimal two spots. You get 0 0.004 times t. And it's asking when, so we're going to solve for t. So divide by 350, and then 60 over 35 could reduce by 5, so that's 12 over 7. And since the variable is up in the exponent, we're going to log it. Natural log, 12 over 7, equals 0 0.004t. And we'll get whatever that decimal is from our calculator and divide by 0 0.004. The so 12 over 7. And divide by 0 0.004. Four. It's going to take 134.75 years. Now, since it says when, whenever it says when, you should tell the year that it actually happens. So since this started in 1988, add 134 years to that. Or add 1988 to our answer. 
So when will it occur? It's going to occur in the year 21-22, about three-fourths of the way through the year. So when will it happen? The year 21-22 is when it's going to happen. According to the model. And now it's asking how long will it take for the original concentration to double? We could go with the fact that we knew it started with 350 and it's going to 700 to double. Or we could just refer back to our double formula and just do natural log of 2 equals kt. Works out the same way. Natural log of 2 equals kt. We know k is 0 0.004 times t. So natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.004. One hundred seventy three point two nine years. Now, notice this one says how long, so that's the appropriate answer one hundred seventy three years. If it says when, then you actually put it back in context of the year. So our last example, they tell you the half-life is eight days, and we know half-life, the formula, natural log one-half equals kt. Natural log one-half equals kt. And they tell us that the half-life is eight days, so plug in eight for T. So to find the constant, K, divide by eight, you get natural log of one-half divided by eight. Natural log of one-half, or 0.5, divided by eight. This is our decay constant. So again, that's a pretty long decimal, so I'm going to choose to store it. To store it for k again. So we can use it later. On our paper, we write down about what it would be, so we'll round it a little bit. Negative uh, point zero eight six six. Start with two grams, how much will be left after 20 days? So the initial amount is two. We're trying to find the final amount, n, e to the kt, and t is 20 days. So e to the 20 times k. So we'll do e. So 20 times k, use alpha k since we stored it, and then the initial amount was 2, so times that initial 2 that was in front, and we get 0.3536, and it was 2 grams to begin with, so it's 0.3536 grams that will be left. <laughs>